Hey, what's up everyone? Adam LaDolce here from viewership.com. We have Neil Patel here for Q&A Thursdays where basically we go through all of your comments. We find the most relevant ones and I'm going to ask them to Neil and really pick his brain and get all the good stuff that you want to hear from him. So, well, first off, thank you for leaving comments. The more comments you guys leave on my videos, we're going to end up using them and then make sure we answer them in future videos. We're going to be doing a Q&A each and every single week going after the most asked questions in marketing. So the ones that get upvoted the most, those are the ones that we're going to answer. So if you see a comment and you like it, upload it if you want the answer to it. Or if you have your own question, make sure you leave a comment with your question and we may consider it for our next week's Q&A video. Leave that right there below. So this one's from Boost ORM. Hi Neil, I want to start my own SEO agency. I have some clients also right now, but I'm not sure I will get more clients in the future. Please tell me what I can do. All right, so, and here's what I would do. And I was in this position when I first started at SEO agency and people nowadays are like, oh Neil, you're well known, it's so easy for you. But when I was starting out, I was a little kid, 16 years old. And when you're 16, who wants to give money to a 16 year old? Two, I didn't have money. Three, I didn't have a college degree. Four, I didn't have any experience. Yeah. It was really tough. And I can even give you a number five or six or whatever we're on. Right. The next one would be, I would go to school from 8 a.m. to roughly two o'clock in the afternoon. So customers would be like, wait, you can only work on my account for two, three hours a day. I'm like, no, no, I'll work nights and weekends as well. And I still made it SEO agency work. And when I was a little kid, I got into well into the six figures per month. This was in high school. And I know at 16, I capped out at around 20,000 a month. And then I grew from there. And I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to point, prove a point that if I could do it when I was 16, anyone can do it. Sure. That's the first thing someone needs to know. If you want to start an agency and you guys want to go and create something, don't be afraid. Just believe in yourself. Exactly, just yeah. believe in yourself. Okay. The second thing is, the way I used to get clients, and this still works today, I would go find out who's doing a ton of ads on Google AdWords. And back in the day, there weren't tools like there are now, but if you go to SEMrush and you put in the company URL, it'll even tell you how much money they're spending each month. That'll give you an idea of how much money a company has, because they spend 500,000 a month or a million or 200,000. There's a good chance they could pay you for SEO. You don't want to go after the ones who spend a half a million or a million a month, because those guys, our big organizations, it's going to be too hard to find the right people to go out there and sell. Right. You want to go after the ones who are spending like 20, 30 grand a month, hit up the founder and shoot an email that goes something like this, right? So now that you figured out who to go after, the third step would be you create an email and you send it off to them. And it could be something like, hey John, I noticed that you're spending a lot on Google AdWords. What if I can end up getting you similar amount of traffic from the same keywords without spending money on paid ads? Would that interest you? Yeah, a lot of CEOs will ignore you, but if I sent you that and you were spending 30 grand a month, what would you say? Done. Yeah. Or at least you'll get on the phone. You may not hire, yeah, right? yeah. but you'll get on the phone with me. Well, I think that's the thing is most people think you have to focus on inbound and no, no. one's doing the outreach. No, one's doing no the outreach. They're, they're all lazy. Yeah. And it's easier to get them from outbound than inbound because the problem with inbound is like we generate right now around 5,000 consulting leads a month. Almost like 90 something percent are not qualified. Right. And that's the problem you end up with. Inbound, outbound, you can have 100% qualified because you're reaching out to the people yeah. that you know that can pay you. Another strategy that I love using is Crunchbase. So I go on Crunchbase, they list out all the companies that are recently funded, their valuations, how much money they raise. When these companies raise four or five million dollars and you hit them up and their investors up, you always want to hit up their investors because if, if you invested in a company and someone emailed you saying like, hey, this company you invested in is screwing up, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, you want ROI, right? Yeah. So I'd find all the companies that recently raised money and I would email them. I recently, or I did this when I was a kid to Michael Moritz of Sequoia Capital okay. and one of the companies he invested in. And I emailed both of them like, you know, hey, I know you guys are busy, but this company is screwing up and you guys aren't going to do well and here's what's wrong and here's why you're not going to succeed when it comes to SEO and getting Google traffic and dominate and grow us fast. Investors wow. never want to hear that. Right. And you know they're going to forward the email over. Cool. I would email them separately, not together. Yeah. What ended up happening was these guys would get an email from their board of directors and they'd be like, oh, you know, go figure this out. Right. The investor's not going to spend any time or energy solving the problem, but they're going to be like, oh, go check this out. And when they tell the person who's running that company, you know they're going to go check you out. Right. And I got a lot of deals that way because those guys were like, 
whoa, whoa, you just broke down in like a six page Word document of everything that was wrong. It wasn't a fancy PDF. I didn't hold things back. I just gave it all to them. If you have $5 million, would you try and learn things on your own? Or would you just pay the person who just outlined everything for you? Just pay it. Exactly, especially if it's not that expensive. You want to charge five grand a month for someone who raised $15 million or $5 million? They don't care, it's a drop in the bucket. Totally, and, and the genius part about this is you didn't go for the marketing director or even the CEO of the company. You went to the people who were funding those people. That's right. So it was like, <laughs> just guaranteed money, right? That's right, and if you do well for those investors, they're gonna tell all their portfolio companies, hey, this guy did this for one of my investments. Uh, you know, You should hire him for your business too. And that's a great way to get clients. All right, so there we have it. That is how to start an SEO agency. Like Neil said, leave that comment down there below. We're going to be doing this Q&A Thursdays. We're going to be going through your comments and be able to respond to them and be able to answer them in this format. So if you enjoyed this, give it a like, give it a subscribe on YouTube, and of course, leave that comment for us. And we appreciate it. Anytime you guys need help with anything marketing related, whether it's starting an agency or you're a founder or entrepreneur or marketer or just anyone who's interested in getting into the field, I don't care You know what your qualifications are, how much money you have we're here to help so feel free to leave a comment even if it doesn't get any uploads we truly care and you're gonna see a response from me trying to help you out I'll do the best that I can so thank you see you next Thursday